And give us the, the, uh, the feeling right now, man. It's almost time to do this again. Give me, give me an idea of like how much different it feels the second time around versus, versus the first time. Um, I would say the difference between the, my debut and now is like, uh, uh, I'm just used to the process. I know everything that's gonna happen. The other day I actually did a, a float tank, you heard of that? So uh, I kind of went in, I visualized the whole entire fight week, flying there Tuesday, visualized signing posters, visualize the warm-up. I'm actually the first fight, so uh, just kind of visualize the whole process, the walkout, everything, going in there and getting my hand raised. So um, it's just, uh, I don't know, I'm super excited. It's crunch time. What's a float tank? So a float tank is like a big isolation tank. It's uh, completely pitch black. It's like filled with like, I think, 800 or 1,000 pounds of magnesium salt. And it's about 12 inches of water and you kind of just go in there, shut yourself in there and meditate. And some people use it to relax, some people use it to visualize or you know, make their muscles feel better. But I just kind of go in there and I like to visualize and you get the benefits too, like the physical benefits of repairing your body and your muscles from training. And so how does the sensory deprivation like help with that? So, you know, like I could sit right here and meditate, but of course I got my phone, you know, I got my wife, I got people texting me, like a lot of distractions. So when you go there, it's just kind of like, you, you shut out everything, you're dedicating this time to meditate basically. And you know, zero distractions, pitch black, it's like you're floating in space, it's pretty cool. So every fighter, I mean, dreams about being in the UFC, there's no question about it, but then you get there and you said like, What's the emotion like that first week? What's like, as you, as you said, now you know what to expect. Yeah. So is, is that first week just, does it end up being very overwhelming for you? I wouldn't say it was overwhelming my first, my debut. I mean, you know, I went out there, I was obviously pretty excited and like that was something I dreamed of and worked for my whole entire life. And, you know, when that, you know, when that moment came, I was like, wow, it's finally here. You know, this is it. Like I, I was pumped and excited, but at the end of the day, it's just another fight. and. You know, I have to stay composed and not get overzealous of the situation and just treat it like, you know, I'm stepping in the cage with another man who's trying to take my head off. And um, so, yeah, this time around, I, you know, I, I, I know what to expect. And, you know, I'm not going to, I'm just going to treat it like any other fight and go in there and take care of business. You came up short. I mean, what happens when you don't get that result in your UFC debut? I mean, that's the moment you've been working for, right? And it, and it doesn't work out. I mean, is it, is it, I mean, is there depression? Is it down? Is it, do you question things? I mean, how, how do you bounce back from that? Well, yeah, I mean, it obviously sucks to lose. You know, I have to, I'm trying to, you know, I want to impress my friends, my family. Everyone expects me to win. They're all texting me, yeah, you're going to kick his ass. And like, they don't, you know, they don't see the every day in and out of the gym and all the hard work and sacrifice and to go out there and, you know, not get my hand raised. Yeah, it sucks because, you know, that's, that's all the people see. They don't see all the, the, the preparation leading up to the fight. And, um, but a loss, I don't think it's a bad thing. You know, I, I definitely learned a lot from a loss. I didn't go out there and, you know, get knocked out in 15 seconds. I fought three hard rounds with a, you know, tough opponent. And uh, there's a lot I, I took away from that fight. Was a, I lost the decision, but, you know, I gained 15 minutes of experience time in the UFC which is a lot, you know, not everyone gets to do that. And um, there's, there's so much I took away from that fight. And yeah, I live, I had to live with that from January till now and it sucks. So, but I use that as motivation, you know, in my training every day, just, you know, I, I don't want to feel that way again. And I, I want to get my hand raised and I will. You talk about being first fight of the night, but this is like card of the year, right? I mean, it's stacked top to bottom. You got, you know, yeah. top ranked guys on the prelims with you. Yeah. So I wonder, does it mean, I mean, is it cool, is it special, is it anything to be a part of a card like this? Or do you even worry about that when, when really all you're thinking about is going in and getting that, that win? Yeah, um, it's awesome. obviously an awesome card, UFC 225. I mean, you got freaking Joe Benavidez, Rashad Evans on the fight pass prelims. Um, uh, yeah, and, and to, to kick it off as the first fight of the night, that's like, that's an honor. So I'm definitely gonna go out there and set the tempo. Um, but I, I don't I don't get too caught up on like, oh, this is a huge card. I mean, the first card I fought on UFC 220, pretty big card, you know? So, but yeah, I'm not too concerned where, where I'm at on the card or which card I'm at. Um, 
he was C225. It's going to be a good night. Fighting the guy from the area? Are you are you, are you, uh, you going to embrace that all? Like, kind of hoping you can oh, be yeah. a bad guy, maybe get some booze? And... Yeah, yeah. I, I would say 90% of my fights have always fought the hometown guy. So um, I'm used to it, you know, going out there. It's less pressure for me. I, you know, every, he's he's coming off two losses. He's uh, he's in his hometown. He's I'm sure he's training his ass off to come out there and make a huge statement, you know, especially in his hometown. So, you know, whatever, I just got to stay composed and we'll, we'll, we'll get it done.